Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. So it's uh, been a couple weeks since I've had you out at the garden. I thought I'd bring you out here, show you what's going on with some of these experimental potatoes with some of our pumpkins. And even our tomatoes are starting to, uh, to come back with a vengeance for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, it's all pretty interesting. Let me, uh, let me show you what we got going on. So here's our experimental potato bed. And as you can see, this is uh, the potato that has taken off and started to uh, to sprout again. Now we've got actually planted one, two, three, four, five, and then six potatoes here. So on this row, we've only got two that sprouted up, but then we got that one over there that, uh, that sprouted. I don't know why these two are such late bloomers, but they seem to be, uh, be doing all right. <clears throat> Do have a number of weeds that are just growing up. My weed whacker ran out of string, so I hadn't uh, hadn't been able to trim up around over here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've got a little dead butterfly getting eaten by ants. Huh. Fun things. Oh, so I'm so I'm really interested to see how these guys grow up, and uh, if we can get another crop of potatoes out of that, that'll be. Uh, That'll be a lot of fun. I don't know, it just seems interesting. Now we're over here at our pumpkin plants, and these are all of our uh, pumpkins that we planted. They're all doing great. Uh, these are the winter squash variety. Uh, some of our jack lanterns those aren't doing the, the, the best. Those are probably the, the weakest ones that we've got going on. But then our giant pumpkins over there, they're just growing up huge. They're absolutely humongous. They're just taking over all that area over there. That's why we kind of left a, a bigger space for them to spread out. Um, our squash is pretty well all gone, except for one little shoot. And it's still growing flowers, so um, I don't know what's going on with that. But then, take you back over here and I'll show you our tomatoes. Now the tomatoes that were on the back side, um, aren't doing quite as well they don't get quite as much sun but as you can see we still have some coming in we still got some new flowers this is all new growth coming up here at the top <clears throat> this one over here is doing pretty well i've been finding a lot of tomato hornworms on here as well so uh i've been picking those off as they come up um but this one's doing well we've got a lot of a lot of green tomatoes growing we got some red tomatoes i think my daughter came and picked all the all the ones she could find this morning off of this one. But this one's just huge. It's got so many tomatoes growing uh, still uh, this late in the summer. And look at this. I left this one on here because I thought it was so cool. That is a tomato hornworm. And all those little things attached to it, those are wasp larvae or wasp eggs. So a wasp came and uh, it acts as a parasite, lays its eggs on the tomato hornworm and uh, it ends up killing the tomato hornworm but it produces all these little wasps that go around and kill the tomato hornworms so I thought that was pretty cool and I just kind of left that one there so that it could uh, it could develop those wasps later on and we could have more wasps that kill the hornworms and I don't have to deal as much with them in the future now, that's amazing how sometimes mother nature works in your favor um, but then our pepper plant decided to wake back up. As you can see, we got little peppers growing. Look at there. Got a little pepper right, right there. We got some little peppers that we're trying to grow over here. I don't know where they went. Thought I saw some. Maybe not. Maybe that was the only one. Uh, but we got those growing. This pepper plant's not doing quite as well, but it does have some flowers on it. So it's got that little flower. Uh, it's got this little flower right here. That little flower right there. So we'll see if uh, see if maybe we get some little bell peppers after all. That will be interesting. Do we see any more hornworms? You can see all the caterpillars just been eating away at this thing. Um, one of the cool ways that we found to uh, identify where the hornworms were at is you can look let's see if I can find some like right up in here find poop and when you find their droppings then you look up and uh, you'll see on here 
got little leaves that have been eaten off right there and right there and usually you'll find a hornworm kind of hanging out up underneath kind of like this guy is underneath a chute uh, right above where a lot of droppings are and so we'll look for the droppings and then we'll find out like there's a dropping right there and then we'll look up and pretty much uh, uh, oftentimes we'll just find a hornworm hanging out right there up on, above it and uh, been able to clean them up pretty well so yeah so yeah we're able to uh, to pick those guys off and then feed them to the chickens the chickens absolutely love it they all fight over who gets to eat the hornworm so that's our garden we got more potatoes growing more tomatoes growing more peppers growing got pumpkins growing man it just feels like everything's just taken off I even still got some green beans that are growing so uh, it's it's still producing it's still a lot of fun I was a uh, I was on the verge of wondering if we were we were done with it, but uh, I think uh, I think we got a few more weeks still left out of it, so it'll be a an interesting harvest come here in a, a week or so with all these tomatoes. It's going to be really good. Oh, I, did did you see my shirt? My Cannon Pride. So my daughter, she's being homeschooled this year, but she's still able to cheer at the local high school, and uh, so we were really excited. Football season started back up, so the uh, we were able to go last Friday. To her first game it was it was kind of strange uh, the team that they were scheduled to start playing uh, ended up being quarantined uh, for some reason I'm not sure why probably something to do with a, a sickness but uh, so they weren't able to play them locally uh, but we were able to drive about two and a half hours to another school that was open and welcomed us to come out there and play them uh, so we played them, got our uh, got our tails whooped, but we had a great time. My daughter got to cheer. Uh, she absolutely loves it, loves being a part of that team and uh, being a part of that community. So we, we had a lot of fun. We always look forward to this time of year uh, when uh, when she gets to do so well. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, for being a part. Uh, if you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, feel free to subscribe, find out more of what we have going on here on the homestead, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.